The Riddles of Barabbas, Chapter 18 Switching Jesus Jesus of Bethlehem crosses the Kidron Valley to where Jesus Barabbas has just now been kissed by Judas Iscariot. Jesus of Bethlehem is questioned before Annas, then Pilate. Jesus Barabbas is questioned before Caiaphas, then Herod. These things having said, John and J. Barr's meeting was done, and with his men J. Beth came through the valley of Kidron. Judas knew the place, in fact he was already there, already having kissed the Jesus whom he was betrayer. Officials, priests, and soldiers were already in the grove. They'd awoken many for this kissing episode. But when Bethlehem greeted them, the men were all awake. If Judas tried to kiss him, there had not been a fair shake. Instead, Bethlehem challenged them, said, Who is it you want? They turned away from Judas' kiss to Jabeth's seeming taunt. The one before us we've just caught in sinful azimuth, being kissed by G Judas, Jesus, who's from Nazareth. But Jabeth said, The one you have is not the one from there. Barabbas you have found, and of his men you should beware. Nazareth is where I'm from, and I'll speak to you gently. Barabbas, on the other hand, his men might be more deadly. But still I ask, as it's a duty that I am behove, whose custody you want to take while we are in this grove. And though they had Barabbas there who was a wanted man, led out to his whereabouts by Judas' kissing plan, they modified their plan right then to capture harmless Jesus, but he said, Let the others go, if my capture is what pleases. He said this, and made good a request made by J. Barabbas, Let them raise for me on the last day, if there's a crisis. Simon Peter got involved in the ensuing fight, cutting off the ear of one called Malchus on the right. But Jabeth said to Peter, Stay your hand, we must give up. The water-bearer chooses who of us will drink the cup. If you're not a peaceful man, your habits will delay. The time to which God's kingdom is restored both year and day. Though Jabeth did not resist, the soldiers had him bound, and brought him before Annas with the high priest not around. Annas to the high priest was the father to his wife, Caiaphas thought it good for Jews to forfeit Jesus' life. Peter, and another, name unstated, followed straight. But Peter wasn't known. Outside the yard, he had to wait. The other, name unknown, came out and talked to the gatekeeper, and asked her, can he come in too? He's not a troublemaker. She asked him, surely, of this one, you're not a staunch disciple. And Peter said, of that one? No, I'm not. That's not my, that's my denial. So Peter came into the yard, and stood with the officials. A fire burned and kept them warm while they considered issues. Was it the high priest who questioned Jabeth on his teaching? And did he answer how he was all public in his preaching? The Gospels show that Jabeth, what Jabeth said, in public or in secret, and whether signs were done in day or nighttime as convenient. The question that the soldiers ask is, now, is this the way that Jesus answers the high priest or something different, say? the fact, the, In fact, the one who questions here is not high priest at all, but Annas is the one who asks the high priest's paw-in-law. But Jabeth asks if I have said something that's incorrect, testify to what it is, don't leave the flaw unchecked. And clearly there is, some, is something wrong in this, the book of John, for Jabar barely says a thing in front of any throng. Instead, when Jabar speaks in John, it's always done in secret, the wonder of his lessons largely powered by concealment. Now Annas, not the high priest, but Caiaphas' son-in-law, sent, sent Jabeth to the house for some confession to withdraw. Once both Jesus were in the house, again Peter was asked, Surely for this one you're not the spread of doctrine tasked. And Peter said, Indeed, I'm no disciple, that is that. Then Malchus said, But wait, I think I know you, little rat. I recognize that you were there, and you have cost me dear. 
when before Jabeth said to stop, you cut off my right ear. But Peter said, it wasn't me, and in that instant crowed, the sound of J. Barabbas' void, voice, a loud irreverent goad. You will see the Son of Man, an image from now on, coming on the cloud of glory, coming on and on. You will see him coming, yes, you'll see him coming, son, coming, coming at the right hand of the Mighty One. The priests were all appalled, and they were tearing at their robes, his blasphemies too much to bear above their poor ear lobes. They sent Jabar to Pilate, who had him sent on to Herod, and Herod had him dressed in pretty fabrics like a parrot. And then with Jabeth tried the same, they brought him up to Pilate, but Pilate asked, Now this one is a wanted man for what, what? They said, if not a criminal, we'd not bring him to you. Said Pilate, use your own laws. In your prisons he should stew. The Pharisees explained with most coherent convolution, Our law requires his death, but does not permit execution. So Pilate then went back inside, confused at everything, and asked Jesus of Bethlehem, Of Jews aren't you the king? And Jesus asked if Pilate on his own made that remark or if he heard from others, such as Matthew, Luke, or Mark. And Pilate asked, Am I a Jew? Just tell me one on one. I know J. Barr's done crime, but they've not told me what you've done. If my kingdom were the one that was what John described, my servants then would fight, since violence is not proscribed. But since my kingdom is of God, we'll act with more discretion. God's kingdom come, his will be done, on earth as it's in heaven. So you say, said Pilate, though you're not the king in Rome, you have a greater kingdom in this place that you call home? And Jesus said, I that I do, and that is why I've come, to testify as to the truth, the measure and the plumb. But Pilate asked, as though it were a question of mere rhetoric, what is truth, as though the topic somehow were degenerate? By this time Jabar was outside in Herod's kingly clothes, so Jabeth was brought out, but he still looked quite indisposed. Then when Pilate asked the crowd, which one should I release? One was dressed up like a king, the other was in fleece. He asked, should I release your king, the one you call, or one you call Barabbas? They said, son of the father, please, not one who king his job is. So was this what they wanted, or a miscommunication? The one dressed up as king was freed with no incarceration. But was he really freed, or to Golgotha did he walk, with Simon the Cyrene with power shouldering his cross? The one who crowed, you'll see me, at the powerful right hand, coming from now on, is with the siren now as planned.